The question is, could you drive it? Though? No. <laughs> well, maybe drive it, just not park it. <laughs> the parking uh, the way, would be the, the way problem. The you drive down the 51, I'd love to see that. <laughs> All right, next, here comes the Arizona Teacher of the Year, Lynette Stant, joined by the Ambassadors of Excellence, riding on top of an APS fire engine, of course. The Arizona Teacher of the Year program was created by the Arizona Educational Foundation and recognizes 10 skilled and dedicated teachers from pre-kindergarten through 12th grade. The Teacher of the Year and the Ambassadors for Excellence are created, celebrated professionals in education. They work closely with APS, the company, and the foundation are thrilled to celebrate these teachers' successes in the classroom, out here in this community at the parade. And uh, we're truly proud to have these incredible teachers represent their schools and the state of Arizona today. So thank you so much for being with us and congratulations for the incredible work you're doing. Next comes the talented kids from Tolleson Elementary School District Marching Band. The band is made up of 125 students total from 9 to 14 years old, and they're led by band director Mr. Efren Casillas. And joining us for the fourth consecutive year, they are well known in and outside their community and for their talent and are proud to perform the Desert Financial Credit Union Fiesta Bowl Parade, APS Electric Light Parade, and Disneyland California Parade. So. Let's enjoy the talented Tolleson Elementary School District Marching Band. or maybe a small college. Oh, they're fantastic. That's really terrific. Love it. Very impressive. Next up is the Education Balloon, sponsored by the Arizona Education Association. Fighting for public schools before Arizona was even a state, the Arizona Education Association is dedicated to keeping the promise of quality public education for Arizonans. The association made up of teachers, bus drivers, school counselors, cafeteria workers, social workers, school nurses, and custodians who advocate for better public schools in Arizona and to elevate the education process in our state. The education balloon has been flying at this parade for several years now to signify the importance of education and how every child in our great state deserves to have a great education. Absolutely love this balloon. It is a classic for all the kids who are watching either at home or along the route. See how happy he looks reading a book? No iPad required. <laughs> yeah, that's our biggest balloon we've had so far, too. That thing is huge. Is he part of your book club, Olivia? He needs to be. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's clearly got an enthusiasm for reading. <laughs> All right, next up, it's the AARP. It's uh, the nation's largest nonprofit, nonpartisan organization dedicated to empowering people 50 and older to choose how they live as they age and with the nationwide presence nearly 38 million members AARP strengthens communities and advocates for what matters most to families and that's health security financial stability and personal fulfillment at the state level AARP has more than 900,000 members in the parade today AARP Arizona has approximately 75 volunteers featuring the 2019 AZ Andrus award winner Jay Likas he is AARP's Volunteer of the Year. AARP volunteers are walking along and passing out their Passport to Fitness cards. To learn more about AARP, go to their website. It's aarp.org slash az.
Next up, we have the Jurassic Park Motor Pool Desert Raptor Division Car Group, a participant in the parade for the last couple of years. This is a global network of fans who built various versions of themed vehicles from the hit blockbuster franchise. Each one is painted to represent the cars in the movies, and each member is also dressed up in Jurassic Park gear to look like the characters from the film franchise. The Desert Raptor Division started as a Phoenix branch of the motor pool and now represents nearly 30 vehicles from across the full Four Corners region. That's very cool. <laughs> I like that. Next, we welcome the 32nd annual Chandler Chamber Ostrich Festival float. Riding on top of the float is the Ostrich Festival's mascot, Tutu. The three-day event that takes place at Tumbleweed Park in Chandler from March 13th through the 15th this coming year. It sounds like a good time with incredible music, great entertainment and attractions, carnival rides, food, and a lot more. Be sure to visit the Chandler Chamber Ostrich Festival, the website at ostrichfestival.com, and you can get all the information you need right there. We always love to see a reporter go out there on Good Morning Arizona because yes. the ostrich can be a testy creature. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It can be interesting, especially when the cameras are rolling. <laughs> yes. Up next is the Milk Jug Balloon from Arizona Milk Producers, a nonprofit organization working on behalf of Arizona dairy farmers to inform, promote, and support the people, products, and process of the dairy story from farm to table. And for busy families on the go, it can be tough to eat healthy. Thankfully, dairy offers so many great options that are convenient, nutritious, and affordable. From chocolate milk and smoothies to string cheese and yogurt, dairy products are the perfect go-to for a delicious snack with nutritional benefits, including calcium, protein, and vitamin D. And they are the ones who are responsible for picking our half-pint judges. That's right. So Javier and April are on the ground checking in. Oh yeah, milk, it's good for your body. So says my buddy Eli here. Love the glasses, man. Very fashionable. Yeah. Yeah. They are. <laughs> what do you think so far? Uh, it's, all, it's really cool seeing what everyone's come up with and stuff like that. What's the one that most stands out to you? The Cheez-Its. Ah, oh, the Cheez-Its. See all the Cheez-Its working. Lily, what about for you? I know you're uh, fighting with your glasses there, but they look they make you look pretty cool. Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. Cheez-It seems, oh seems to be the favorite, April. But, but you do know the milk jug just went by, and I know how much you guys love milk. Are you drinking chocolate milk here this morning as yes. you judge? Yes. Is yes. that helping you to judge? Uh, sort of. Sort of. <laughs> Keeps your belly kind of full, right? Keeps you engaged. What has changed since we last checked in with you? Is Cheez-It still your favorite? You are taking an impressive amount of notes, by the way, girl. Um, like, I just put down Hashtag red for Ed. Okay. It's like um, it's like really creative how they went and like made all that stuff. And um, I, I I like the plane. Um, the good one too. Plane balloon with the Air Force. Yeah. Yeah, for the Air Force, that was really creative uh -huh. of them. Nice. Well, I'm impressed by your notes. I'm impressed by you know your. Detail, uh, attention to detail out here this morning. They've got a tough job, but and they're doing it well. Uh, Scott and Olivia, you know April is a note taker of the group, so uh, I think I think little Haley has her beat, so she's got some competition out here. And I'm not surprised to see that. These are some sharp kids. Up next, the Australia Vista STEM Academy of Avondale Pom Pom Squad and middle school cheerleaders. The kids range in age from second to eighth grade, and they bring 
great spirit to every school-wide assembly and have showcased their efforts in parades all across the West Valley. What a cool opportunity to be that age and be performing in a parade, potentially 100,000 people watching you. So congratulations to you. The squad is currently under the guidance and instruction of Alyssa Nelson, Rebecca Smith, Daisy Sandoval, Antonio Bryant, and Rachel Vliak. And uh, I got to ask you a question here. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Who am I going to call? <laughs> I'm going to call the Ghostbusters. <laughs> That's right. Ghostbusters is celebrating their 35th anniversary this year. Yeah, they're a nonprofit organization formed in 2007, bound together by the mutual love for the Ghostbusters license in all of its forms, bringing awareness to many well-deserving charities all across the state. You can feel their personal pride and accomplishment that comes with volunteering as they participate in fundraisers and community events uh, throughout the state all year round. Arizona Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters. we feel safer already. <laughs> And that's a big group. Everybody wants to be part of the Ghostbusters. <laughs> and there's that Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Wouldn't be the same without him. You know, I'd want to be a part of the Ghostbusters. I don't think there's room for any more. <laughs> a ghost doesn't <laughs> look at, stand look at a all chance vehicles. around that here. That is so cool. Oh, ho, ho. all right. Earlier we saw the Clemson band, and now the opponent in tonight's PlayStation Fiesta Bowl parade game. Excuse me, I'm all paraded out this morning. Uh, the game is tonight, Ohio State. Ohio State today, led by head drum major Connor Barr and assistant drum major Morgan Davis. And it's a big band. There's 228 instrument playing members, plus another dozen staff and drum majors. And the band is all brass and percussion. No woodwinds, and it's the largest such band in the world. Who knew that? It is the band's 142nd year and the fourth year under band director Dr. Christopher Hoke. So let's listen in to the Clemson Band. Ohio. Ohio State. I'm sorry. Thank you. 
Ohio State football and marching band fans here along the parade route and uh, here in Arizona for the game tonight. And uh, what a sight they are. The Ohio State, yes. And then at halftime of tonight's game, the band will perform its modern movie musical show featuring music from The Greatest Showman, Mary Poppins Returns, A Star Is Born, and La La Land. So the Ohio State Marching Band. Fantastic. Just look at those uniforms, too, and, and the brass. I mean, it's all I just know. impeccable. It's, it's really the impressive. The shine. <laughs> all right, look out, everyone. Here's the mascot gang led by some of the most recognizable oh. faces <laughs> in Arizona sports and, of course, one of the favorites, Spirit. Here is where it gets unpredictable at the Fiesta Bowl Parade. We have got uh, all our favorites at Grand Canyon University's Thunder, Arizona Rattlers Striker, Arizona Coyotes Howler, um, who is rolling down on a Coyote branded truck. Watch your balance there, Howler, with some of the cheerleaders from this team. Spirit has been busy again this year, as you know, with more than 100 appearances across the community. Spirit is always there to share the spirit and bring a smile to someone's face and support those in uh, need. Looking good out there. We, we have the best mascots. No two ways about it. Yep. What's <laughs> up, Howler? Ow! Ow! All right, here comes the Honor Health Farmers Market Float and their produce mascots. Lots of mascots out here today for more than 90 years. Honor Health has cared for generations of families across the valley. They're a nonprofit local health system that is transforming health care to make it simple, personal, and of course, accessible to everyone. And I should mention we have uh, Sparky from ASU and of course Baxter from your Arizona Diamondbacks going down there too. A great group. Their produce mascots handing out health care and healthy food items to the crowd along the parade route with five hospital clinics throughout the metro area and outreach services, including a food bank, education programs, and affordable care centers, or dedicated to improving the well-being of this community. You can learn more at honorhealth.com slash fiesta2019. Now to a balloon you simply cannot miss. It's Ernest, the big piggy bank, wrapping up their 90th anniversary celebration with 90 days of giving. First Credit Union making its eighth appearance in the Fiesta Bowl Parade with Ernest. First Credit Union, your local non, uh, not-for-profit choice for home loans, credit cards, checking, and a lot more so you can find your financial sunshine today at firstcu.net. His future's so bright he has to wear shades. <laughs> All right, get ready for more music. Here's the Play It Again Band, Arizona's first community marching band made up of former high or current high school marching band members from around the state as well as college and state and country who uh, just love playing music. So they're out there just having a ball. The band has been entertaining in local parades since 1987 and is excited to be participating again in the 2019 Desert Financial Fiesta Bowl Parade. Many of them are music educators and performers and other local music groups coming together from around the country to entertain us this morning, so thank you. for girls grades 5th through 8th to compete in a pageant system that awards $85,000 in scholarship money, trips, wardrobe, travel, services, 
and additional prizes. And celebrating its 40th anniversary, Mrs. Arizona, part of Mrs. America, the original and premier competition for married women in America and the state of Arizona that exemplifies excellence, professionalism, and the celebration of family values. What an amazing opportunity it offers young and married women all across our country. Next up, the Tolleson Wolverine High School Marching Band. Don't they look great today? They sure do. And following the marching band is uh, the 501st Legion Dune Sea Garrison, uh, the worldwide charity costuming group, Scott. Yeah, they're accompanied by the uh, Tolleson band that we just mentioned, and they are members of the Rebel Legion from Mose Eisley Base, Arizona Mandalorian Mercs, the Twin Sun Spire of the Dark Empire, the R2 Builders Club, and the Quartzsite School of the Galactic Academy, all dressed as their favorite characters in the series, and their float is a sand crawler. That is cool. There are 300 members in the state of Arizona and more than 15,000 members across the world. Maybe I should say across the universe, huh? Who are in groups like this one today. These groups also participate in more than 300 events every year in the state, including hospital visits and charity walks. So may the force be with you as we wrap up this decade and move into the future. All right, here's some more talented dancers uh, for this year's amazing parade. Here's the Ballet Folkloria, Folklore, Folk, Folk, Folklore, Florico de Santa Maria. I knew I could spit that out at some point. Uh, they're performing beautiful dances from different regions of Mexico, wearing colorful dresses that represent the region and states the dances are actually from. The Ballet Folklorico de Santa Maria is from Southwest Phoenix, celebrating its 38th anniversary as a performing dance group. They perform throughout the country and internationally, traveling to Mexico and Japan. Always love the beautiful costuming. Thank you so much, dancers. Let's check in with April, who's down on the ground with a light bulb moment. Yeah, that's right. I've got Andrew Moreno here with me from SRP. And tell us about your balloon today. Well, first of all, we're excited to be here. What a great turnout. This is our uh, LED Watson, okay. who we are uh, proud to feature, as well as one of our electric vehicles. SRP is dedicated. Uh, to conserving our state's natural resources and, of course, our air quality. No, we do love that, of course. Uh, the air quality is great today. Uh, rain really helped us out. We've got blue skies. It's a little chilly, but we're having a good time out here. Why does SRP choose to support the Fiesta Ball? Well, SRP is an Arizona organization. We've been serving the community for over 100 years, and we are proud to support not only events, but organizations that um, support our state's economic vitality, but also support our local charities, teachers, and schools. All right, well, we love that. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you. Next, coming down the parade route, new pathways for youth. Now, for the past 30 years, they have served more than 6,500 young people experiencing poverty and four times the adversity of other youth adversities, such as uh, parent incarceration, abuse, neglect, substance abuse, 
and um, you know, dropping out of high school. Yeah, their mission is to empower youth to achieve their full potential through mentoring and life skill development. And they also help youth create breakthroughs and self-destructive thought patterns that lead to actions towards college and career success, breaking the cycle of chronic poverty for future generations. Next is the Arathi School of India Dances from here in Phoenix, celebrating its 40th year in the Valley. And director Asha Gopal teaches classical and folk dances of India in the Valley and in Tucson. Yeah, she's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for completing 200 Orange trams of her students here in the USA. really fun to see just the diversity that this parade yeah, is celebrating. It really and is. It's a good representation of our community. Yes, it is. So many yeah. different cultures thriving here in Phoenix, Arizona and uh, the Valley. Floating down the fairway is the golf ball balloon carried by Top Golf. Top Golf is a lot more than just a driving range. Players compete by scoring points and giant targets in the outfield while enjoying great food and fun. You don't even have to be a good golfer, nope. Olivia. Who doesn't love Top Golf? No matter your age or skill level, Top Golf is everyone's game. Experience Top Golf in Scottsdale, Gilbert, Gilbert, and their newest location over in Glendale on the west side of town. You can check it out right after the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl game tonight. And up next, the volunteers from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona. They're proud to be the presenting sponsor of the Fiesta Bowl Volunteer Program as part of the company's commitment to making Arizona healthier. All Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona employees are given paid time off to volunteer with a local nonprofit. That is really special. Uh, in 2019, almost 1,300 employees volunteered, a total of more than 11,000 service hours to this community. Representing those dedicated employee volunteers today are Rooney Hunt, Christine Bennett, and Yvette Bonfilio. And it's time for another marching band. We've got a great one coming down the parade route with the Willow Canyon High School Marching Band. Willow Canyon is located in Surprise, Arizona and led by Michaela Rademacher. Let's listen in. Coming up next, it is the Phoenix Phantoms, a semi-professional, full-contact women's tackle football team of 35 athletes in total based here in Phoenix. Perfect as we celebrate women in sports. Yes, I love it. The team provides women a sports program geared specifically for them with the goal of creating a positive learning experience and opportunities for lifelong memories. The team joined the Independent Women's Football League in 2011, and this season they officially signed on as a full member. Now this is their 10th anniversary, looking forward to an upcoming season of becoming one of the most elite teams in the West. And their mission to continuously strengthen a proactive program for women athletes of all skill levels and to achieve a sense of community partnership, personal excellence, and women's empowerment. So, way to go. All right, a real treat for you guys right now. Here comes the Arabian Horse Association of Arizona's horses. And aren't they absolutely beautiful as they always are with the state flag. The organization has been thrilling equestrian lovers every February for over 60 years. 
The event is 10 days long and is filled with equestrian excitement, hundreds of vendors, thousands of horses, millions in prize money. It is a blast. They also give a lot back to the community. The event happens February 13th to the 23rd this coming year, 2020. And coming down the street, love these guys in a custom red radio flyer wagon built to reflect the Indy 500 cars. It's the Wicked Wagons, a group of motorsports enthusiasts and fans of custom built race wagons returning for their fifth consecutive year, led by pa, uh, Bab, uh, Bob and Pat Parker, and a very special guest, six month old great granddaughter, Nola, riding in her six wheeled mint green wagon how cool how special four generations in one parade and john and kelly man the group's banner watch for them to do their famous spin move and you also want to say hi to brenda who is pulling a 1954 restored wagon from her husband's childhood love those things they're so cool Up next is a member of the Phoenix art community since 1992. Isn't this exciting? Please give it up for the Fushiko Daiko Drummers. This group plays traditional Japanese taiko drums, percussion, and wind instruments, all of which are carried by the performer. And their outfits are traditional Japanese hoppy or jackets in red with traditional shoes to go along with that. The group is celebrating the cultural diversity that this state has. Be sure to visit TaikoAZ.com for more information about this. I love listening to those drums. Here comes a living symbol of the American spirit, the Wells Fargo Stagecoach. Riding in the parade from Wells Fargo is Mercedes Dodd, Jeff Smith, and Linda Highland. Also walking along the side of the stagecoach are some incredible teachers and faculty members from throughout the Phoenix area. Yeah, so a big thank you to all the teachers out there for all you do each day to make such a, a, such a positive impact on our students' lives. Uh, we want you to know that all that hard work you put in every day after day does not go unnoticed and uh, we just can't thank you enough. So a big thank you and a big hand to these teachers. <laughs> 